Davis looks to flatten the curve. Renewed attention is being put on workplaces. Enforcement set to increase once again. CTV Sean Lethong is live with more. Sean. Well, Michelle and Nathan, when the lockdown began in December, the focus really seemed to be on education. They would work with businesses who were essential to do the right thing. But now that has shifted, and it's shifted towards enforcement. The Ministry of Labor is stepping up enforcement of workplace restrictions. This time, we're focusing on distribution centers in Peel Region. Starting today, inspectors will visit approximately 100 warehouses and food processing plants in Peel alone. Focusing in on dis distribution centers like Amazon, for example, uh, is going to work to keep uh, people safe. Last month, the ministry focused on big box stores. They say since the pandemic began, there have been 218 tickets issued and 63 businesses shut down for non-compliance. The minister says since then, they've seen a 19% rise in compliance. The focus now will be on the type of workplaces they say are susceptible to outbreaks. Peel region uh, is a hot spot. Uh, Peel, Toronto, and York uh, continue to uh, present uh, challenges. Uh, obviously, this is an invisible enemy that we're facing. And one tool in the toolkit is enforcement. And these inspections come at a time when medical officers of health are warning about the possible circulation of new variants of concern. There are variants in our midst which have the potential to reverse everything that we have all worked hard and sacrificed so much for. During Mississauga's COVID-19 update this afternoon, Peel Medical Officer of Health Dr. Lawrence Lowe said, It is a welcome announcement. Uh, of course, the devil is in the details. While he and Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie are in favor of this announcement, both continue to advocate for the province to go a step further. Hopeful that the federal and the provincial government will work together and offer uh, paid sick leave or paid sick days to those employees. And when I asked the minister about the possibility of a provincial plan for paid sick leave or paid sick days, he pointed to the program that has been set up with the federal government. Reporting live, I'm Sean Lee Thong. I'll send it back inside. Thank you, Sean. When it comes to testing, more than 52,000 have been processed and completed in the last 24 hours. Taking today's new cases into account, the positivity rate sits at 2.04%, and nearly 42,000 tests remain under investigation.